Dear America, Hey listen, I know things are a bit confusing right now. It seems like the country hates each other, everybody is wrong, yet nobody is right, nobody can agree on anything. People are getting shot on a nearly daily basis, the economy is uncertain, fake news is everywhere, and Justin Bieber is still making music. Needless to say, the country is going through a pretty rough time lately. Not to mention the crazy things that are happening in the rest of the world. War, starvation, terrorism, speedos. We have a new president and at times the future seems uncertain. On top of all that, there are a bunch of countries that have been acting like total dicks lately. It's times like these that really make me start to question everything. Now don't get me wrong, America. I still love you. Yeah, you take way too much of my money each year with taxes, but I forgive you because you allow me to be free and live a blessed life. If I'm hungry, you give me the opportunity to drive down the street and order as much fast food as I can eat. Even though I know it will eventually lead to a heart attack one day, but I'm allowed to do it because God damn it, this is America. You provide women with the option to wear yoga pants, resulting in a mixture of art and fashion because, let's face it, a pretty girl in yoga pants is pretty damn close to art. It's as close as most of us are going to get unless we decide to fly to Europe to go look at the Mona Lisa, which is a total waste of time and money when you have something like this walking around Target. You also give us the option to watch millionaires give each other brain damage every Sunday while we sit at home on our couch gorging on pizza and beer. What I'm trying to say, America, is I love you, but I don't know if we can be together. Now listen, it's not you, it's me. I guess after all we've been through, I owe you an explanation. Well, I started feeling this way when I was on the internet the other day browsing TMZ.com. I know, I know, why was I wasting my time on TMZ? Well, truth be told, I have an odd fascination with celebrity deaths ever since Michael Jackson died. I'm not sure why, but I do. And TMZ is always the place that breaks the news stories of a celebrity death first. So I find myself there pretty often. But that's besides the point. I was on the website looking to see what's going on in the world of celebrities when I stumbled upon her. You know who I'm talking about. Thou that shall not be named. Catch me outside, how about that? Catch me outside, how about that? Listen, I thought we agreed to finally get rid of her. I thought the 15 minutes were up, but here we are months later and she is still around. But this, this is the last straw. I saw a news story that stated there are plans to have a reality television show based around her, her life, and her actions. Why, America? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to us? I've always been there for you, but now you just turn around and stab me in the back? Like this? Don't you remember what happened the last time you gave somebody like this a television show? Don't you remember what happened? My vagina's out. <laughs> the smell of tanning lotion and hairspray still lingers in the air, just starting to dissipate. Yet you go and decide to do this. Why? Why would you decide to poison another generation of children by having them exposed to this abomination? I thought the Kardashians were enough, but you decide to one-up yourself with this. Now I'm sorry, she's only 13, a mere child, I know. Typically I'm not critical of people like this, there are usually some redeeming qualities that somebody has, but I'm at a loss with this one. Since we first met her, all she has done is fight and cuss and make a fool of herself in public. She started off as a joke that people mocked on the internet. People eventually gave her money and supported her, so she continued on her destructive path. Actions that should have normally been condemned were praised. And after all of this, you reward her even more with a television show? I can't handle this anymore. Here she is, 13 years old, causing fights and being a menace to society. Thousands of followers in social media, money, fame, and she gets a television show? And then we have people like Tanishk, Tanishk? Whatever, Abraham, 13 years old, he graduated high school at 10 years old and has been taking college classes for years with a 4.0 GPA. And all he gets is some dumbass on the internet not knowing how to pronounce his name properly. Where is the justice? So I'm sorry, America. I have to leave you here. We just grew apart, okay? You know, in the 90s, we were cool. I stuck with you through Hanson and the Macarena. But this, I can't handle this. Listen, it's not too late. Maybe she'll fall down a well, or maybe the TV companies will realize this isn't the direction they want to have their networks go. But until that day comes, I think it's best we go our separate ways. I still love you, but I just can't look at you right now.